Hey guys, welcome to the Barbara and David show. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Um, what are we doing today? What are we doing today? We are doing our top five, um, what is it? Oh, 90s, 90s movie. 90s, 90s, yeah, yeah. We, we did, did 80s, right? Yeah, Damn, yeah, yeah for, those, 80s. for those who saw it, we did the 80s. So today it's our top, well, I can't speak, top five 90s movies. Um, you want to start off? Sure. All right. Okay. What do you got? All right. Top five? Yeah. Okay, so this is my fifth? Five. 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 Okay. Five. Five. I got Pulp Fiction. Ooh. Okay. Pulp Fiction, amazing. If you've never seen it, see it. It's, um, I don't, I don't know if it's actually the first one that's ever done this, but it's the Quentin Tarantino, obviously, and he'd started from the end and then worked the other way around. So, um, it, if you don't pay attention, sometimes it can be like a little confusing, but it was also the, um, they claim the resurgence of John Travolta, his career. Alive. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, you know how they say, don't call it a comeback, but apparently, yeah. And then you got Uma Thurman and the, Oh. Stole the movie, Sam hands Jackson. down, Sam Jackson. One of my favorite lines in the whole movie was, I shot Marvin. <laughs> shot Marvin in the face. <laughs> that was Travolta. <laughs> oh, shit, was it? <laughs> yeah. Travolta shot Marvin in the face. Oh, Travolta shot. Yeah. But what does Sam Jackson say? Anyway. Anyway. Anyway, love this movie. It is, um, I think, like a, not cult classic, but a lot of people don't um, like it. And it's, I don't Who's know. like Pulp Fiction? Get out of here. I think it's like a love-hate thing. I really do. Nah. Yeah, I think it is. Nah. I think some people are like, mm, not my thing. But anyway. Haters need um, to go. Absolutely love it. You get to see John Travolta dance again a little bit. Mm. Um, yeah, it was just, you know, amazing. And again, Sam Jackson. Uma Thurman was very good in it too. But um, John Travolta, Sam Jackson, can't go wrong. Great movie. And, Quentin Tarantino. And yes, now now that I think about it, you were right. <laughs> Shot Marvin in the face. <laughs> but I still love that quote anyway. Yeah, but, there you go. All right. All right. Me? Okay. Number yeah. five. Edward Scissorhands. Yes. Uh, Tim Burton. Johnny Depp. Wasn't Johnny Depp's first movie, but this was coming off of uh, 21 Jump Street. He was in uh, um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yes. And a couple others. What was that other one he was in? Was it Private Resort? Was that him? Private Resort, yeah. yeah. But yeah. And Edward's, Rob Morrow. Yeah. Edward yeah. Scissorhands, though, is pretty much my favorite Johnny Depp performance. Johnny's the man. Uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. But this is what started the whole Tim Burton thing. Edward Scissorhands. Great, great, great movie. What's his name is in this, too? Um, um, Anthony Michael Hall. Yeah, that's Remember it. Remember in the 80s, we were talking about uh, he was in, uh, what, 16 Candles? Mm -hmm. And he's the bad guy in, yeah. in this movie. Great movie, though. Yeah. What do you got? Oh. I got. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Shut Marvin in the face. Shut Marvin in the face. Okay, you like this choice? Oh, uh, yeah, man. Okay. That's yeah. kind of like what I would have picked. Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. I love this movie. And I know a lot of people, if you know me, they're like, really? Especially this one. But yes, I really, really love this movie. Tom Hanks, Matt Damon, um, you know, yeah. I mean, and there's, uh, what's that other guy? This guy, Sizemore? Tom Sizemore, Tom Sizemore. rest in peace. Rest yep. in peace. Such, Vin Diesel was yes. in Saving Private Ryan? Vin Weasel. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Vin um, Diesel. I love these kind of movies. Um, I love this one the most. Uh, like U571. Yeah. Bon Jovi was in it for like a bon half Jovi. a second till he got blown off the ship. Um, yeah. but yeah, and I really do. I like war movies, you know, Tropic Thunder. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Tropic Thunder was great. <laughs> I love Tropic. But no, Saving Private Ryan is probably my favorite war movie. Mm. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, but don't forget the most important thing about Saving Private Ryan. Go ahead. Tell me. Who's the director? Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. Spielberg. Obviously. Met, met Spielberg last year. I he think was, they know that already. Yeah, I don't care. I'll tell him again. <laughs> I, if you, Spielberg. Jaws, favorite movie of all time. Okay, that was number four? Yes. My number four, Cape Fear. Martin Scorsese's Cape Fear. Robert De Niro, Nick Nolte, Jessica Lange. Uh, the remake of the movie um, from the 50s, Gregory Peck and um, Robert Mitchum. They're actually in this movie also, the, the remake. But Cape Fear, Robert De Niro in this movie is just sick. Um, wow. This, if you've never seen Cape Fear, you 
have to see this movie. The thing about this, though, uh, like I said, De Niro played the bad guy. Uh, Nick Nolte was the lawyer. I'm such a fan of Nick Nolte. I think he could have played, they could have reversed the roles and it would still have been great. This is such a great movie, Cape Fear. Check it out if you haven't seen it. And yep. also how we always say nowadays, like things getting made and stuff, mm -hmm. the relationship between Robert De Niro and um, what's her face? The daughter. What's uh, her? Juliet, Juliet Lewis, yeah. Yeah. Mm, I that don't wouldn't know. get made today. It might, but it, it they'd probably soften it a yeah, lot. But that was, it was great. Yep. Okay. What do you got? Whoa. I got Jonathan Demi, Silence of the Lambs. This Hannibal the Cannibal. is, yet again, I love this. It's a thriller. Um, oh, my ear is very itchy. <laughs> You're itching your so, own I'm sorry. sorry. Um, Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. Um, Jodie Foster, I think it's one of her, Jody. probably one of her best films. Mm -hmm. um, I really like the relationship if you want to call it that between her and um hannibal lecter again quotes that come out of it you know put the lotion in the basket <laughs> <laughs> i mean they're endless actually with this but Good i just watched it i just watched it we watched it yeah. the other the other day it's one of those movies that i <clears throat> will get caught up in mm -hmm. and also it's one of those movies where um you don't necessarily even though you've seen it already mm -hmm. you will see it and you'll see something for the first I time see, yeah. you know I, it happened the last time you know that i i didn't notice some yes. things that had happened but yes amazing ah uh, well you're gonna add but, to it um, i'm gonna i'm gonna add to silence of the lambs um ha uh hannibal lecter anthony hopkins was not the first actor to play hannibal lecter it was actually Brian Cox, Cox in Michael Mann's um, Manhunter. Uh, the reason why I, I bring up Brian Cox because um, I worked on Succession. Oh, he's name dropping. <laughs> I'm name dropping again. Um, and I worked with Brian and all the, all the while sitting in a room with him, all I could think about, that's the original Hannibal Lecter. Not, not Anthony, but Anthony did a great job. But if you go back, check out Manhunter by Michael Mann. Great movie. Yep. Okay. What? what? Oh. Oh, it's my turn. I'm like talking about Yes, well, because you're piggybacking, uh, piggybacking on it. <laughs> ah, my number three, mm. Quentin Tarantino's Jackie Brown, based mm. on the no <laughs> Go ahead. Based on the novel by um, Elmore Leonard, Rum Punch. He kind of uh, turned Jackie Brown into this black exploitation flick, but it's got a, the cast in this movie. Um, Pam Greer. Robert De Niro, Sam Jackson again, motherfucker. Um, Michael Keaton is in this. Bridget Fonda. Oh, man, this this cast is just amazing. Jackie Brown is uh, one of those Tarantino movies. He's, he's getting ready to shoot his 10th and final film. But this movie, the more you see it, the better it gets. It's not my favorite Tarantino movie of all time. My favorite is Death Proof, which everyone hates. But... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jack Jackie Brown is a great movie. Check out Jackie Brown. Good soundtrack. Yes. And Robert uh, Forster is in this. He was nominated for an Academy Award. His performance is amazing. Rest in peace. Okie dokie. So, mm, what two, you got? I got, I got, mm. I couldn't, I couldn't not do this. The book for this also is amazing, but what's eating Gilbert? Great. Johnny uh, Depp, Johnny Julia Depp. Lewis again. Julia yeah, Lewis. We both had. Johnny Depp. And Johnny Depp with <laughs> and Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm. Um, like I said, the book I read the book and the movie, um, just amazing. The whole the I, I I have to be honest. When I first saw it, I really didn't know too much about Leonardo DiCaprio, and I actually thought he was. Um, I I don't even know what exactly he was supposed to have in this. As far as maybe I don't know autism. Mm -hmm. I'm not really quite sure, so don't quote me on that. But mm -hmm. I actually did think that this actor was, I thought he had like special yeah, needs yeah. or something. I, I really, and then later so on, obviously, I think, yeah. And I mean, he mm -hmm. was just starting out in his career. Um, and the relation, wait a minute for your facts. <laughs> um, the what relationship show was he on? between, oh, wasn't he on like, uh, Sil 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 not Silver Spoons, what's that one with um, Alan Thick that he was on? Silver Spoons. I have no idea. <laughs> With um, R R Richie... R uh, Ca Cameron. Uh, no. Kirk Cameron. He was on that one. <laughs> anyway. 
Silver Spoon's Proceed. Ricky Schroeder. No, he wasn't on that one. No, okay. So anyway, really, really good. Um, it's heart wrenching. I don't again i have trouble sometimes with casting mm. um i'm not a huge fan of juliette lewis and i think i would have preferred to see him with somebody else that mm. i didn't feel the chemistry that i think that they were trying to portray it just didn't click for me but you know that's just my opinion um however the whole movie in itself was amazing the ending <clears throat> if you haven't seen it i don't want to give it away but the ending is just just kills you so yeah. if you it, it i think this goes kind of it flies under the radar of one of like the johnny depp movies mm -hmm. um not everybody has seen it read the book too because the book is amazing um but yeah that's my two johnny depp yep yep ah number two revenge tony scott's revenge we got a story about this one <laughs> got a story want to uh, hear, <laughs> wanna hear? <laughs> tony scott uh may he rest in peace you know he died tragically um but his film work, uh, True Romance, which was written by Tarantino, um, you know, Top Gun, Beverly Hills Cop 2, uh, the movies he did with Denzel. Um, Tony Scott was an amazing director, Ridley Scott's brother. Um, but Revenge is really special. Uh, Anthony Quinn, Kevin Costner, and uh, Madeline Stowe, who was in Stakeout before this. This movie, um, it's about... Um, Anthony Quinn is married to uh, Madeline Stowe, older guy, younger younger woman, and Kevin Costner shows up. He's an old friend. Anyway, I don't want to give it away. Check this movie out. But this movie is special. Why is it special? Um, hmm. hmm. Oh, I think it was our first date. Yeah, we went on our first date back in the 90s. This was our first date movie. What year was it? 90? It had to have been 1990. 90. It had to have been yeah, this, is, this is all about the 90s movie. This is... is uh, Revenge. If you've You're never not seen this, tell people the story behind. No, it? I'm not gonna go into that. They don't. They don't care about that. They just want to hear about nice. the movies. <laughs> um, but this movie, uh, Tarantino has said this is one of the best movies, and I agree with him. Revenge, great movie. What okay. you got? All right. Now, number one. Num. This is. I think this is not even just my number one '90s. This is possibly my number one everything. Titanic. Rose, why are you so stupid, Rose? <laughs> okay, we all know how it ends, but the ship sinks. You know, if you get past that, um, get past the ship sinking. Well, no, that's terrible, and there was a lot of deaths. It's and a real stuff, story, yeah, true life. No, yeah, but the way that um, James Cameron did it, I feel Cameron, really did it justice, especially because. He has researched it so much. He's gone down to the Titanic. And he's still and, going. And he still, yeah, he still keeps going back. He hasn't <laughs> the ship, imploded the ship, yet. The ship hasn't moved, yeah. Jim. It hasn't moved. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I like what he did with the characters. The cinematography is just... It's perfect movie. Yeah, I mean, just from the opening scene with Kate Winslet when she's in that big hat and she just kind of like looks up, that was, you know, the... It, it just epic. Just... Everything about this movie, I think, is perfect. Mm -hmm. I love their chemistry, unlike how I've said before. Um, <clears throat> sometimes I think it's like a little, not miscast, but I think their chemistry was amazing in this. Um, the detail to everything on the ship, um, down to the, you know, the glassware and that, and the doors and the um, mm -hmm. wardrobe as well. The wardrobe was Perfection. out of control. Perfection. Yeah, just everything, like I said, everything about this. And I still, I have seen it many times now back in the movies. Um, mm -hmm. I have seen it in, we saw it in, I know I went. Uh, saw it in 3D. 3D. Yeah. That's a little unnecessary. Yeah, There's really not. Worth it. Yeah. To me, you just, again, I understand it's real life you know we un we know the story and everything mm -hmm. but just the way he managed to do it he just sucks you in um and then there's speculation which i love because they never really answered mm -hmm. with at the end old rose what did she do with the necklace did oh, she the throw it it's a deleted scene but yeah she threw it over she had it with her no it but they're scene. saying they're not sh you're not you're supposed yeah. to like not yeah, remember in the in the. Um... But I'm saying, if you see the movie without the deleted scene, yeah. it's supposed to be. Shut up! It's supposed Shh, to be. Throw it in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be left to your imagination. 
Not the deleted scenes, not the extras. Yeah, she threw it over. <laughs> oh, and what's his name? He was so good in it. Bill oh, Paxton. Bill, Bill. Somebody else. What a great actor, man. Bill was yeah. Bill, Bill so Paxton. So I, yes, I hold this movie very Titanic dear to my great. heart. I absolutely, just on so many levels. You know, it's a mm -hmm. love story. It's got the drama. It has a little bit of humor. Um, um, what's her name? Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates is it. So great Misery. in that movie. Yeah, we're not naming other movies. You do this every video. No. Okay. It's my channel. So, <laughs> Titanic, my favorite. And I think Leo, as an actor, got a hundred times better since that movie. My number one movie of the 80s. Oh, man, this, the 80s, no. What am I, Where are I you? just went back. We're talking about the 90s. Time travel. <laughs> James Cameron again. Oh. James Cameron. Terminator 2, huh. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. <laughs> this movie, damn. Oh, man, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. The first one was, was amazing, but this one, especially the, the extended cut of it, is just out of this world. The special effects for its time, it still holds up. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. If no one likes this movie, forget about you. This movie is the best, hands down. Is this the one where it Which starts one? out in the um in the park with the kids swing? Is it that one? Yeah, it starts off and then all of a sudden it goes right into you the know future. What I'm saying? Like yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Like Terminator the, Two. The beginning of that. Yeah, Terminator Two. Yeah. Uh, watch the first one and this one back to back. Terminator Two. Anyway. Okay, so this one went a little bit quicker than yeah. last time because we wanted to do only five instead of ten yeah, each. You don't want to bore the hell out of you. A little long in the tooth. Yeah. But thank you again if you're tuning in. Mm -hmm. And yes, it's David's channel. So um <laughs> it's the Barbara and David can, show. If you can like, subscribe yeah. if you haven't. And again, you know, make this interactive. Participate with yeah. us and write, you know, write us your top five. Give us your top five. Yeah. Um if you're not happy with our choices. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> tell us why. Um, nah. Yeah, I mean, it's all preference, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's all preference. All right. And um, so. yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm. And if you want to see... Put up with silliness. And if you want to see us do top... Something. Whatever, just let us know. What well, if you just want us to go away? <laughs> well, then just want? don't watch oh, us. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Shout out to uh, Drew and Diane. No, not Drew. Ooh. Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> we had I mean, Andrew. you can shout out to... Me. Shout out to all of them. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Um, yeah. So until next time, what are we going to do next time? I don't know. Whatever, don't know. whatever our audience wants. Whatever our audience wants, we shall, we shall give you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. All right. Much love. All the best. Peace, Peace out.